Check, check, check. Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna jump inside of Unity. Well, actually, we're gonna jump inside of Blender. And we're gonna make these zombies look like clowns. So we're gonna do as minimal effort as possible here. So let's jump inside of Unity and get started. <laughs> By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, which was really awesome. Um, so download that. Use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Give me just a sec here. I'm going to close out some windows that I realized were wide open here, like my Discord. We don't want that. My video editing software, we don't need that, do we? We don't need any of this. Okay. All right. We are good to go. All right. Yeah, the creepy crawly villain lady is going to be returning soon. And we're slowly making our way through all the enemy types here, okay? So, sadly, we're going to need to, um, well... Hmm. Yeah, I feel like what we want to do is we want to make sure that our clown is now utilizing the new mesh that we created. Uh, well, I think it was, was it last week or it was earlier this week on Monday. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to pose this clown mesh with the, we've got this, you know, rig associated with this clown mesh. We're gonna pose it, but then we also wanna make sure that it is then linked, right, to the, um, here we go, just like that, uh, linked or, or parented to the, the, uh, the rig at the bottom or below it right now. Um, so it's kind of convoluted process here but I'm just trying to get this rig all set up just like so. And then I'm gonna apply the armature and that should allow us to parent it so that this guy has clothes on, okay? That's the idea, okay? So we'll see. So let's go to top view here. And then I gotta rotate this, right? Rotate this. And when we apply these changes to our rig, there we go, there we go, we're going to get the ability, let's squash this a little bit, squash along the Y, there we go. We're gonna have the ability to then parent it, okay? Almost done, almost there. That's the theory at least, so we'll see if this works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and apply the armature. So we're going to go to object mode, select it, go to our modifiers, and we're just going to apply it. Now, we just have this mesh here that is wrapped around our enemy, okay? Now, I kind of want um, no hair, and I want him to be bald. I'm down with deleting this. We don't need that anymore. And his legs themselves, we don't really need those, right? We also don't need his feet. So I can take all of this and delete those vertices, okay? That's the theory. Let's select his shoes as well. We could delete those, okay? So this is what he looks like, right? We've got our clown here. So we're close. We're close. Um, let's go to side view here and Move it over just a, t a tad there. Good. You'll notice that his feet are a little disconnected from the the bones at the bottom there. So I'm going to go to edit mode here. Um, and ah, no, we're okay. We're okay. See, that's weird. I thought I applied the armature. That's a very strange thing that's happened. But uh, how strange. If I unparent it, what happens? What in the world? 
we're going to apply all transforms and then unparent, clear parent. Well, 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 that's so strange. But anyway, I mean, I think, I think we can just scale it down like this. And now he's wearing this clown suit, right? Um, we could probably shift it backwards a little bit. Yep. Just like that. So he looks good to me. I think there's something there that we can remove. Yes, we don't need the underwear. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that should be good. I'm curious if we can rotate it just a, just a little bit. That way the neck is perfectly lined up, right? Almost there, guys, almost there. And then we'll parent it. All right. And then we could probably shift it forward just a tad in the arms. There we go. So these arms here, we could just take them take these and then just bring them forward really don't want to do it that way Pro let's see if we can do it this way yeah there we go something like that and then this one bring it forward just a tad like that right okay so now he's all set up I believe we should be okay here. So let's go ahead and this collar I really don't like, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's clipping in right there, but okay. Okay, so let's see what happens when we parent with the automatic weights. This is my fear here is that it's just not gonna look good. Um, so we'll see here, let's go to pose mode. Didn't do it. I wonder why. I think it's because this armature here, we can delete that. Um, that we're going to clear. I'm going to apply all transforms, right? And then parent it and automatic weights. All right, let's go to pose mode and see what happens. Okay, so far so good. Not the greatest ever. But it's a silly clown suit, so I don't, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. All right. I think it's okay. So now that we have this sort of silly clown suit here, I kind of want to put a wig on as well. Okay. So I'm curious if we have a wig available inside of Fuse. So let's go to hair. Maybe we do, I don't know. We're gonna go customize here. Our clothing, do we have any, we have hair. Okay, let's go to our hair and see what we got. Um, nothing that looks like a clown. So I may need to use what I had, which is if we go to Unity here and we type wig, there it is right there, it's a clown wig. So it's its own blend file. So we might actually be okay here. Um, so let's go ahead and bring in this new clown rig, okay? So file, save as. Um, I'm gonna save him into enemies new, walkers. And I'm just gonna create walker clown. Save this and then we're gonna call it walker clown. Sure, we'll save the blend file. We'll also need to save the FBX file. Walker clown export, good to go. Now, if we bring this in, remember we we have this cool little script. Um, we'll see if this works. Um, we have this cool little, little script that was given to us by our buddy. I can't remember his name, but it was a couple weeks ago. Um, is this the blend file? Let's see here. Okay, that's the blend file. So I'm going to name this one blend. Our buddy last week, or it was a couple days ago, wrote us a script that allows us to bring in a mesh and then reparent it to a different rig, which is a huge deal. 
Um, I really, really appreciate it. So we're gonna bring that in right here. And we're gonna set the height to the right size. Um, one, 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 one. I believe that's correct. Um, yep, 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 yep. One, 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 one. Good, good, good. There he is. He's all set up. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that mesh. What's it called? The mesh combiner. Mm. Let's see where it is. Mesh refitter or something. I can't remember what it was called. Mesh merger. We drag in the correct model and then, oh, there it is right there. And then model to adapt is this one. And I believe it'll merge the skins. Yeah, there he is. So if I delete this, okay, so that didn't do it. Hmm. If we go to play mode here, what do we get? Okay, he doesn't do it. Um, we'll try one more time. Let's give it another go. Um, correct model is the armature here. Walker Clown FBX merge skins. Whew. Not sure. We shall see. Uh oh, there goes Unity. There goes Unity. Oh well, just open it up again. We're all right. All right. Uh, Lucas says, bro, any news about the Switch to Unreal video? Yes, I finished that up today, and that is coming out on Tuesday next week, and that's whether I'm switching to Unreal or not. And I won't tell you the answer now, but uh, it comes out on Tuesday. Okay, so let's go to Walker R2. We're getting some weird issues here. There's our clown. Now, I don't know where his clothing went, you know? That's the weird thing, is I have no idea where his clothing is. There it is. Okay, so what if I hit play? Good. It looks great. I'm actually very surprised. Wow. Okie dokie. So if we group this together, guys, and we just call this clown, not Kwan, I'm actually very excited that this worked because I was thinking this was going to be a real pain. Um, but there's our clown. We also have the guy with no hair. So here it is. So it works. I mean, I don't see any huge issues, right? Um, really, really weird that that works. His hands are coming through a little bit. And so we'll need to adjust that. Is there anything else, Thomas, we need to adjust? So all we're doing, guys, is we're just basically creating a nice list of varying um, meshes. And then we can just switch between them uh, to, you know, switch between them to get it working. All these different uh, visuals. So it seems complicated. And it is, I guess, but once you, you know, once you figure out how to do it, it's not complicated at all. That you just need to figure out the right process. And I was talking to Felipe about that. And Felipe is <coughs> the 3D artist for our team. And he and I were just talking about how, you know, um, let's go to edit mode here and move that over a little bit. We were just talking about how the majority of our time is spent figuring out how to do like what the process should be, right? And then it makes you go, okay, well, how fast are games gonna be produced once once we figure out our team's process, right? And then, I mean, it's a really important question because if you can figure out your process, well then all that time is gonna be saved on your next project, right? So your project should be going faster and faster and faster. Let's go to pose mode here. Okay, so that didn't do it. Maybe you just scale it up a little bit. Maybe that's the solution here. Um, and it's not like I'm coming at this model, guys, with the perspective of like being a super professional 3D modeler. Right now I'm just, you know, using the skill I the skills I know to get things done. And I think that that's very, very important for indie game developers to consider. 
what do you know and can you just make do right let's go to pose mode and see if that fixed it seeing a little bit of clipping pose mode okay if we just shift that over a little bit I think we'll be okay um, but let's just I don't know let's go ahead and uh, export the FBX and the theory is if we export this as an FBX right now that it should update perfectly in unity it did thank God so we got ourselves a clown I don't see any clipping either which is awesome so I am very very happy with the results we have here guys okay now we could throw the wig on um, the problem with this is I'd rather it be on the mesh you know I, I, I think I'd rather it be on the mesh but our current wig is really really ugly let me show you if I open up this clown wig it's a blend file it's just super stupid looking so what I think I'm gonna do is actually open up that um, Walker clown well do I have it I do I'm gonna save this blend file maybe look look we got clipping there that's not good but we're gonna go ahead and import this clown wig so copy <clears throat> I want to close this and then open up but what, what is this get out of here I don't want you this one this is what I want and then paste it in. I can't paste it in so we're gonna go ahead and import FBX and I believe it's gonna be in our walkers clothes or hair Thomas it should be here son of a bee so we're gonna <laughs> I don't know why it's not showing up um, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sh go show show an Explorer I'm gonna take this clown wig and I'm gonna put it on my desktop like an idiot paste that on the desktop um, and then I can go ahead and import it now I just I couldn't find it it's not showing up anywhere um, so let's go to our or desktop or downloads uh, it should be down at the bottom here um, why am I having so much trouble today <coughs> file import FBX where are you what the F it should be in my downloads folder and it's oh it's a blend file I guess you can't import blend files that's that's really dumb actually okay let's go ahead and export this as a FBX that's really really stupid clown wig export man it's so annoying the import process with blender is really dumb um, it's one of my least favorite things about blender okay so there we, we have this clown wig here I'd much rather it just be on his head right like this oh, that's just terrifying and uh, we'll scale it down clowns are scary because their hairline is really receded um, so that's kind of what we're going to try and accomplish here. Yeah. And it's already been unwrapped properly, so I don't think we need to worry about. That's great. There we go. We don't have to unwrap it or anything. That's great. Hey, you know, and I feel like we could probably just give him a clown nose. Um, so the theory is that well, I'm gonna, I'm, this right here, I'm gonna actually add a modifier, uh, which is going to be the subdivision surface. Just make it a little bit smoother uh, because, if I, what happens if I deleted it? Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Um, because it, it matches a little bit better now. And we'll go down like this, and then we'll also bring it back a little bit more. Yep, that looks a lot more like clown, see? There we go there we go that looks a lot more like a clown okay so if I join these what happens and then I go to pose mode I have a theory that it's not gonna work because it's not it hasn't obviously it hasn't been uh, rigged right um, so or, or weight painted so we're gonna remove that come on um, so there's his wig and then also ah yes the nose but let's just do the wig for for now um, 
what I want to do is, yeah, just like that. Okay. I feel like it just needs to be bigger. Just so it's nice and smooth there. So that looks great. It's a creepy clown. And then uh, the theory is you parent it to the, with the automatic weights, and it should, um, once we enter pose mode, it should be totally fine. So if I begin rotating, we should see a direct correlation. Look, I'm seeing some issues with those buttons, right? Uh, because they're like linked to his chest, but it's not like I'm super worried. I'm planning on getting a weight painter, maybe hiring somebody. If anybody's super skilled in weight painting, please email me and just hire you for a couple hours just to clean up the weight paints. That would be great. Um, but that's good. Uh, the next thing is to uh, join it to his head so that it's all one thing, right? And I believe that we should be able to still, the pose is still correct, right? Um, so let's, or the, the weight paint is still correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good there. All right. Um, so now let's just go ahead and do his nose. Um, so add a sphere. I'm going to do a very low poly sphere. Not very, but like I would say 12 by 6. Yeah, like that. Scale it up. Scale. There he is. Shade smooth. That's our clown, guys. He looks great, right? Maybe just a little bit like that, and then very, very good. I love it. And again, you know, you parent it to the the rig with automatic weights, and then you join it to the head, and you've got yourself. And let's just go to our actual head here. Um, Oh, it's just joined to his body. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so let's go to pose mode here and just double check. I just want to make sure it works. Yep, works good for me. I'm going to save this as our blend file, just to keep it as our, our backup. And then we'll just also do an export here, Walker Clown FBX. Export it. I have a theory that it's not going to cross over well. Like, we're going to see some issues. Okay. I'm surprised, very surprised. But we've got ourselves a clown now, which is just perfect. It didn't take long at all. I'm very surprised to see this working properly. And we'll texture it. Um, I believe we should be good to go ahead and just texture it now, guys. So I'm gonna go to his little outfit here, and I believe we have a clown wig. If we had, Three materials, what would happen? Clown wig, this? Nope, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we need to apply three different materials in the blend file. Um, we don't really have to unwrap anything. Everything's been properly unwrapped, I believe, already. Um, one of the big problems, though, is that, okay, that's been selected, so that's actually good. I'm glad that that happened, actually. Um, so I'm gonna deselect the nose. Okay, and then we can apply a new material to just this. Um, so that's going to be his wig. Should we assign it? And how do you how do you select the entire select more? Oh, it's numpad plus. Is it control plus? Yeah. There we go. And I'm gonna move it over just a tad because it looks like it's coming through his, uh-oh, let's turn that off. There we go. That should do. And then we're gonna add a new material. This is going to be his nose. Click assign. And then if I select this, that should have its own material by default. It should. I mean, we'll see. Um, and then I press plus here, control plus. Okay. 
and then there we go and then just select all of this crap here I know this is terrible guys unless I'm I'm not doing this properly let me know in the chat what if you think I'm doing it wrong you always do right guys um, <laughs> and then we're gonna create a new material and we're gonna do um, body assign that should do it right guys um, we've got the wig here is that not why isn't it not working just press L that didn't do it oh control L control L so that's the wig assign see I don't it's not working though like if we go to color or there it is okay that works um, that's weird assign this control L it says body for some reason it didn't assign I don't know why assign and we're gonna let's just make it yellow assign because in, in unity we'll be us we'll be putting the textures on there right um, and then his, his nose uh, which is control L and then assign his nose and then we'll do just a green nose for now all right so let's see if that works okay everything's assigned properly um, the body itself is called clown 2.001 which is just a weird name but whatever uh, his eyes though those are good okay so we're good with the eyes so let's go ahead and export this as an FBX and now that we've got all these different you know slots for materials we just slap in the old materials that we had in our old model because we did have an old clown model and we should we should be good to go all right separate materials more draw calls yep you are correct you are correct okay so we have a clown wig here Bing I'm not seeing a lot of texture on there which is odd isn't it why, why don't I see texturing on there hmm that's like weird um, his nose I believe we can throw that one on there as well I mean we could probably type in nose it would be a different one clown nose yep and then also we have this uh, it's just called Walker with yeah we could just do Walker red hair um, it's this one right here so it's this one with red hair we can just reuse his texture right here ah that didn't work let's see here it's this one yes I believe that'll do good okay his eyelashes are incorrect so his eyelashes are in let's see here I believe you can just put them here there we go and then one more there is eyelashes and I, it really needs to be you know transparent so that the eyelashes ooh. that's weird I'm not gonna do that okay how's that um <laughs> and then there's the clown body right guys which is the clown suit I believe we should have a material for it we don't I can just drag it on there though and it works fine um, I'm gonna take that clown suit though the material here and I'm gonna put it in that folder there it is so I'm gonna drag this into my new folder which is right here I believe let's find it there we go we got the clown suit and I believe there might be a normal map there is no normal map but anyways hey we got ourselves a clown and it's what are we doing by the way I didn't even mention this we are we're utilizing new meshes um, we've definitely needed to do that um, but we're also utilizing the old clothing so we have this new walker mesh um, but new clothing so here's an example guys of what this would look like in the actual scene with proper lighting um, we have our clown here and then also yeah yeah so let's go ahead and go to floor zero which is the first floor sort of our testing floor and you'll notice that we can throw in 
five different kinds of you know meshes really easily and again guys the goal when you're making your game the goal for it should be is it's really easy to create levels right so how you know i would say 90 percent of my time 90 percent of my time is spent just making systems that are easy to use by my team that's that's the ultimate goal um so we have no hair good 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 this right here i'm gonna actually duplicate all of this and then group it and this is going to be called uh default because I, I want him to be the default there he is so this is their our default okay i can even drag it up here so there's our default and so when i go to this mode here here are our default ones and i can write a script that will then allow me to pick from all these other ones here. So if I don't want a default, but I want a clown, here's our clown, right? And it, he'll he'll behave the exact same way, right? Um, so if I hit play here, you'll notice that uh, the animations are all gonna be correct, right? And it's just uh, the same mesh. I really don't like how his clown hair doesn't have texture. But all in all, it's great. So it's just a different mesh, right? That's the goal. All right. That was really, really fun. All right, guys, be sure to download those free resources below. There's a 2D game kit that I used to make a game for PewDiePie in just 14 days. A 3D uh, course is called Easy 3D, totally free. And there's also a webinar below on how to secure six figures with a demo, just a small little demo like we're making now. Um, yeah, sorry it's a little short of a stream, guys. Um, it's been a busy, busy week. So I'm going to head out, but I wanted to say hello to everybody. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below. It's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which is really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me. Hit subscribe. And also, this is important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have. And you might just show up, your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye.